Hey guys, what if here? Welcome back to NASCAR 08 for part 23 of the the crew. The chase contracts now. So the last part was kind of like a transition point. So it was kind of like a mix of finishing up the uh, licenses and starting the contract. So we're gonna continue that today. And so far we've completed one of the six. So now we have the Everham ones. So. Yeah, let's get this right out of the box and see what happens. So we got to be in Kane's car and we race at Vegas. So um, we'll see where we have to finish and see if we can live up to those expectations. Here's the objective. So we're starting second, 13 laps, damage on, finish 20th or better. So, okay, game. I don't see what you got. Um, I don't know if this is going to be hard or what, but I'm going to try to take this somewhat seriously. So here we go. So we're in the old uh, Gen 4 cars, which I like very much, and we're going to get the lead. So, um, yeah, that's, um, all right, well, this is going to be an easy win, I suppose. So that's kind of unfortunate. Also, yes, I did change the gameplay settings, so I have the normal assist on. I know there's going to be some people out there that are going to be like, what if, he, when I saw him at the beginning of the raid, you were not, it would detract you fucking, you were not used to get your assist because the car was just driving a certain way and now it's they're driving differently and you're fucking not the match. I know, okay, I changed it. I just want to just show it. Because when I was doing, I was doing season mode off camera, I was at Talladega, so I had those off, okay? That is what happened. It's okay. We're going to catch lap down cars already. I... Uh, Again, just like last part, I mean, there's no real way to mess with the settings for, like, the, like, like the contract, so I can't make it any harder. It's just whatever the game gives me, and apparently it's just laughably easy. I mean, this is just pathetic. Yep, I got damage. Just trying to avoid all the cars, now I got damage. Can't even go race without getting triggered. Oh, it happened again. Uh, what the hell would Newman just put Biffle in the wall? Atta boy, Newman. That's freaking Clint Boyer. What am I? I don't even know what happened there. The damage just shifted again. Uh, this is almost over. I can't wait to move on from this. We're down the back straight away on the last lap. We're almost going to lap the whole damn field. Like, that's... This is pitiful. Go for my licenses, which were, were just pulling my hair out difficult. And then this, like... Wow. What a stark contrast in quality. So there we go. We get that. We... Oh, boy. Um... I'm not going to celebrate. No, I'm not, that's not... It's not worth my time for that. That's... Pit, that's just I'm wasting my time. So the next one is at Atlanta. So I don't know what the, the challenge is going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be easy. So yay. So we're starting for 16 laps. So finish 17th or better. All right, game. I'll see if you actually, uh, you know, try here. So that was not really like the best start. And Stuart's already going to just touch my bumper. So. It is interesting. So I'm assuming, at the very least, there is tire wear. So maybe like EA when they were making this, they they made the AIs like easy because they they thought the tire wear would fall off a lot worse for me, and make them make the AI kind of catch up. I guess that was maybe their intention, but they made them way too easy. And yeah, we already got the lead before we complete lap one. So, oh my, we got 16 laps. That's about normal, but oh, it's gonna be a long freaking little little sprint here. Well, we're going to catch some lap down cars again. That's kind of kind of scary. So now, well, hit the wall too. It's so hard to really make some precise movements, but whatever, I don't care. So yeah, we're going to pass some lap down cars. So, yeah, we're just that. Uh, I'll get back to you if something interesting happens, which I don't know. I'm not going to try to freaking fake some shit, but god, the car's so hard to drive. Okay. Oh, how, oh my God! Just, what? How slow are they going? Like I think they're going at least three seconds off the pace at that. So they're running like 31 second lap times, which is almost accurate to real life Atlanta, not 2007 Atlanta. 
so that's a little bit perplexing, but whatever. I mean, we're just, we're not even half, we're just halfway through this race, and this sucks. This friggin' sucks. Oh, God! I, I tell you, precise movements the car doesn't like to do, and we just absolutely obliterate the back end, so now I'm triggered. Of course, you know, it just has to happen. Okay. I. Oh my god. Oh, I'm like. Oh, stop. Stop, okay? I have such a gar gargantuan lead. I don't need to choke this away. Are you kidding me? Like, wh what? Off turn two, it's the white flag. I mean. Our speed is slower now because we, I mean, we have damage. I think. Was that? Oh my god. We lapped the whole field. It happened. That's, that's pretty bad. I was going to say, we're losing speed because of all the damage we have, but it wasn't enough to, you know, not win this challenge, so. Man, this is, yeah, I'm definitely going to do four, four races apart, because this is just pitiful. Like, I, this is just, just absolutely, just, this is garbage. Like, this, like, there's garbage right beside me in my room, but this is definite garbage. I don't know what that is, but that's garbage. So the next challenge is at, what, Texas? Okay, so, that should be more of the same where nothing much happens, so. Yay. So we're starting 6, we got 17 laps, and we have to get 15th or better. So, that's it. I guess it's interesting that we're starting further and further back. I don't know how much that'll mean, because we just get through the field so damn quick. But try to get to the inside. Jimmy gives us contact to trigger my OCD a little bit. So I'm going to try. Well, Burns going to give me room. We're just going to just door Martin, door Jimmy. Goodness gracious. My God, what is wrong with this track? I didn't like the turn there, but okay. Well, that didn't last long. Now we have the lead, and now that was the only interesting part until we get to lap traffic. Well, we're gonna catch some uh, lap traffic finally. It took a little bit longer than normal. I'm assuming because of the damage we have, it's kind of affecting that just a little bit with our overall speed. But obviously, it's not enough to ruin any chance we have of winning the race. Because yeah, so we're gonna get by Wimmer, get by Omendinger. And yeah, so it should be pretty simple as long as nothing dumb happens. And considering this is the game called NASCAR 8, it's a very likely chance it could happen if we just bump David Rudiman. <laughs> it's the white flag. Oh my. I'm gonna fall asleep. I mean, really, nothing too much happened. Just trying to get around lap cars. It was, I mean, not really anything too bad. Thankfully, the track's super damn wide, so it was not like that bad to get around cars for a change. And I don't know if, I think. Yeah, Jimmy's right there. I don't know if we're going to lap him. But if the, ch if the challenges were about, like, lapping the whole field, that would be a pretty difficult challenge, or at least competitive, because we're almost going to do that. In fact, we're going to do that. We'll lap the whole field as soon as we cross the line. Okay. That should have really been the challenge, because that would probably be a lot more difficult. And I'm, no, I'm not doing another victory celebration. There's no freaking point. So the next one is the Coca-Cola 600. Oh, boy, that's going to be the, the longest... Um, race of like these challenges so. Man this sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. So we're starting sixth. Oh 20 laps and a pit stop huh. Okay, I'll give you that game. That's kind of interesting so Yeah, okay, you got a pit stop. I don't know how long we're going to be on the track until that happens I'm assuming midway through the, through the thing so, yeah, we'll see. Again, a lot of these tracks, either I haven't practiced recently or I haven't practiced in years. So, it's going to be a mishmash of different things. So, we're just going to go to the outside of Kenseth. Jimmy can clear him off too, and we do... My God, I turned to the right there, and it didn't fucking turn. Damn! Oh, there's cautions too. Oh, well, this changes everything. Uh, Mark... <laughs> I... I'm sorry. You know, when the controls are that freaking... What the... Well, I guess that's cute. A little animation here. Well, is Goring gonna flip? No? Oh, that's... I was looking forward to that. I thought he was gonna barrel roll in, into the infield, hit a couple campers, but no. Hmm. Um, uh, I was thinking about pitting, but I guess none of them are. I, I was, like, right off turn two, like, I was getting close to his car, and I turned to the right, didn't register. I... Let's do this. Let's try this again. What kind of start is that? I wasn't even like in the same lane as Mark Martin. 
whatever. So, uh, I guess that takes a little bit of time away from the race. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to pit. I, I'm I'm going to assume around lap 10 or 12. I don't know. So, yeah, we got the lead. Now we could just chill. I don't know how fast our car is, but man, it's definitely uh, good enough to to lead this race apparently. <laughs> My God, you, <laughs> I, I'm not this bad. It's just, oh, the, oh, wow, this this track is extra derpy. I I can't even explain what that even was. That was just just horrible, terrible, terrible turns and corners. Hmm. Okay, so we got people heading down pit road. So I guess I'm gonna do that this lap. I don't know what the requirements are. I didn't specify, so I'm just gonna be safe and just go with you know full fuel and tires and I guess repair damage as well. So, I, I guess that's what I'm going to do, so, yeah, um, I'm just kind of curious how this is going to shake up, I don't know if I'm going to lose the lead, I mean, it seems like we're quick enough as is, so who knows, so I'm going to try to take this a little bit cautiously, I, I very rarely do green flag pit stops in this game, because pitting doesn't matter, but this challenge requires it, oh my god, this is a shit show, oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, that was kind of unfortunate, you know, I just, oh, I look so fucking stupid. I, well, I'm going to pit now. I was going to, we're going to pit. I think this, this whole sequence takes like three minutes, so that's always going to be fun. So I'm going to take a nap. This is going to be boring. Oh my god, finally. So, four tires, repair damage. All the, the good old normal stuff. I don't... Oh, god. This should not be this difficult, but, you know. It's NASCAR weight, you know? It's just, it's gotta be difficult, you know? I'm so sorry that I did not, you know, have a detailed list in my notebook for, like, steering sensitivity and linearity for shit. To, you know, figure out how to properly, you know, what what's the best thing for the track. Whatever. And okay, okay, okay. I was just, I was just shitting on the game, but th the the repair thing is kind of neat because they just took off a part of the body of the car on the left side. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what that really means, but it's just, it's cool. So we're gonna be starting, not last. Look at that. See red right through the car. That's cute. So. I think the, the the rules are on as well, so we can't pass on the inside, so we gotta make all these passes on the outside. So now we got ten more to go. Just kind of just you know go all out here at the end. And considering how easy it is to go through the field, it shouldn't be that bad, but considering the fact or that this track apparently in this game makes things hard, like what the f I don't understand it just shot left it's just shot right. Oh my god, Kyle Petty get can we stop having a shit show, please? Like, my God, just just leave me alone. Oh, somebody stacking. Oh wow, this is Harvard. Just this game is really trying to outshine Heat Evolution. Like, it, it really freaking is. It, like, they, like Harvick just slows down. Nobody else could get around him, and then just stacked everybody up. Damn, this game. I tell you, it's it's really trying to make me feel better about Heat Evolution. I. I don't know why I did a Wimmer, but we're going to get by him, so. Well, that, that helped broke up the field, so I guess that's good. Get to the inside of Rudman. I'm almost going to break my controller just turning. We get by him. We just need to get, you know, 13th or better. I don't even know. This, this track, something about it, like, is broken. I don't know what it is. Like, the other mile and a half, like, the steering seem like relatively consistent here it's just it just doesn't like to do anything and also doesn't make matters any better and the AI, I'm all around AI and I'm getting absolutely boxed in um I I, I can't it just it's I'm being bullied at this point I'm amazed I'm not getting a black flag for rough driving that's a penalty in this game too so I'm kind of shocked with that so we're moving our way up through the field the car is just battered and beat it up again so I don't know Get to the outside. Ooh, caution. Oh, yeah, there's a wreck. There's actually, there's a legitimate wreck. Okay. <gasps> Don't run it. God, it's like the, it's like the car is just like, I want to be a part of the wreck. 
This is a shit show. It's a mix of me. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh. The game just, it couldn't handle the flip. It, the frames just went from like 30 to zero. This game is fucking broken. Like, it's, it's broken. I can't believe how bad this, this game, this is definitively, as far as gameplay is concerned, worse than Heat Evolution. It, it, it has to be. It's so, just, just broken. I don't even think I can get 13. With all the cautions, the AI, the, well, the damage on a car too. And the way the track is like feeling, it's just, it's just a it's just, it's just all these combinations blossom into such a disaster. So we're gonna try to get by Nemechek, Riggs. I think we're actually gonna get the, uh, the objective spot, so that's good. But yeah, the car is starting to really suck now. It's not anywhere near as competitive. JJ Illy's leading, which is like just terrible. Of all the tracks, it has to be here. And in this universe, it was the one year anniversary of freaking roughly. Roughly the one year anniversary of him absolutely just murdering Mark Marin on the tracks. So that's always fun. But hey, Kyle Bush took the lead, so I guess that's the better of both worlds. I don't know. So, I, I, I was gonna get to the inside of you, Shrimmy, and I like I just the car just didn't it just didn't have it in it to make that move. Well, there we go. So at least we'll get the the like the objective spot thing, so I guess that's good. So we're gonna bring it home in this race in 8th, 7th, 6th, okay, 6th, Mark Martin's car, wow, that's just, the back end's like just destroyed, well, we, we, we didn't win, but we sure as hell got the objective, 34 minutes, I, that was not 34 minutes of a race, maybe all the cautions, maybe, but that was not a 34 minute race, oh my god, that was a mess, that was a freaking mess, good lord, so with that race done, the next one in the Next video will be at Pocono, so I don't know what's gonna come of that. That was a that was a mess. Good lord! Oh, 42, 43 minutes. Oh, a big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters: the Dan Reynolds, Roland Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ronnie Lazard, Michael Harrison, D, Pi Punter, Champ Fifteen, Jeff Gordon, and Zach Rogers for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and I can't thank you guys enough for your help. See you all next part where we're going to finish up the Casey Kane section of the, the contract stuff. So I don't know if it's going to be that big of a shit show for the rest of it, but that was something else. So I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.